Almost a month ago, NASA launched the Artemis 1 mission as a major step to send humans back to the moon. And on Sunday, that mission is returning to Earth after checking out how the spacecraft performs thousands of miles beyond the moon. Hard to even grasp. So here to help us break it down, discuss this historic mission, what comes next is NASA expert Sean Fuller. Sean, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Excited about that return coming up on Sunday. Oh, I imagine this mission, huge step for the space program. I mean, we could only fathom just a little bit. What have we learned from it so far? Yeah, it's been a great mission. Like you said, we launched uh, almost a month ago from uh, Florida. This is our first test flight of the SLS rocket, a new rocket and the Orion spacecraft. This is a shakedown mission. And so we've learned a lot about how the vehicle operates. It really works in space, power production, uh, the engines, a lot of engines on this. So we've done a lot of tests of, of those engines uh, to really get the spacecraft it, through its paces and get ready for crew on the next flight in a couple of years. We'll put crew going on these missions out around the moon and back. Wow. Uh, Sean, we're taking a look at some of those images of the moon captured by Artemis 1. Just absolutely stunning. Just tells you how far the technology has come since the uh, Apollo days. Uh, what was your thought or what did you think once you saw those images from space of the moon? Uh, you know, it, it's spectacular to see, and I like those images that you show. Uh, we talk about sometimes the overview effect when you're in orbit. You, you don't see the political lines that, that we see on maps that we draw. I love the image out there, and you head it up, that shows Orion and its perspective as it's flying around the moon, and we've got our, our beautiful little blue dot of Earth, and it disappeared behind the moon as Orion was flying uh, well, far, far away back from the moon. And so it really kind of helps put us into perspective and see us see what we're doing as we take humanity farther into space at exploration. We're going to go to the moon and then to think about we're going to go into Mars in the future. And what's that going to look like as Earth really fades away into a small dot? Just a little small blue dot. Oh my <laughs> so goodness, I know. It. I'm like wondering if you guys geek out as much as we do when we see, you know, these images. What's next? Now you just mentioned other missions potentially. What's next for Artemis? Yeah, that's right. So, so we're going to land on Sunday. Uh, we'll get it back. This will be the first time we're flying in this regime, 25,000 miles an hour as it enters Earth. So that's more of our test flight. Learning from that, building the next spacecraft, we're going to fly the first crew uh, in about two years, four crew that will go out and check out the life support systems uh, in the spacecraft, but then really get us ready for the follow on Artemis missions, going to the surface uh, with a lander, building up Gateway, which is going to be a space station around the moon. That's going to support the crew that will come to Gateway. Then uh, crew will go to the surface, lets us have longer duration missions, and really with an eye forward to Mars as well, where we'll be using Gateway to step off and go to Mars with crew. So a lot of things coming up in the future. Next several years are going to be very busy, but we're really excited about it. All right, Sean Fuller with NASA. So exciting as we get ready for that Sunday splashdown from the Orion spacecraft. Thanks so much. Thank you.